Okay, what's up? So th this is a little tutorial on how you can use the increment or decrement location functionality in Xenvius. Um, so basically I have a stunt right here in this location and I want to move this stunt somewhere else. Um, mainly up. Like I want to mo move this stunt uh, like maybe a, a thousand uh, GTA meters up so I will show you how we can do that mm, first of all let's make the base this yellow prop so uh, I want that this prop is a thousand meters more up and every other prop will be moved a um, thousand meter up as well but we use this props um, base height as an example so let's go into props and we want to find out what prop number this yellow stun prop is so we uh, disable prop stacking and look down here cycle items okay this is the 126 item so we go into Xavier's uh, props and select 126 and you can see the height is 212 so I want to increment uh, this to a thousand so every prop will move up 1000 uh, GTA meters so we will end up at 1212 um, the default value for the increment function is one that would take a lot time uh, so we will just change this to a thousand in the settings and after that we just go here and press critical shift and hold these two buttons and plus as you can see now it's this value um, all props moved up by a thousand so that's why we press shift if we want just this yellow prop to move up and down you don't need to press shift so you just press critical and plus uh, to move props down you use the minus so critical minus for the selected prop or critical shift minus for all props um, right now we only have moved props so if I would test this right now we would spawn in the air the checkpoints uh, and dynamic props and stuff and car uh, starting grid locations are still the same so Right now, uh, uh, we need to do it for all the other things. So let's start with dynamic props. Just go in here, select the first prop, doesn't really matter. Select Z component, component from location, critical shift plus, boom, all moved up by a thousand. Let's go into checkpoints and do the same here. Critical shift plus. This will also move uh, secondary uh, checkpoints, so you don't have to go in here. Um, and it will only move the ones that really have a secondary checkpoint. So you can see right this, uh, the first one doesn't even have one. Uh, so it starts at 4 and the fourth one will get moved up. So, uh, oh never mind, sorry, I forgot. Uh, obviously you, you, you have to select secondary and then do the same here. Um, so you just press critical shift plus um, yeah and now we go into where do we go we want also the starting grid vehicles to be replaced so we select the first one go into Z component critical shift plus um, and I think that's basically it shouldn't it we have props dynamic props and starting grid locations yeah let's test all right this looks good as you can see we are a bit higher yeah Alright, uh, let's hope, okay, 
maybe secondary checkpoints didn't work because I set the first one uh, to a thousand as well. So um, I would suggest that you do it uh, like this. Um, so if you have secondary checkpoints, you just select the first one in this instance it's four and do it right here so don't do it at zero I might uh, I might fix this uh, fix this but uh, just go into the first secondary checkpoint and press this button uh, press this key combination and it should work the first one is kind of was kind of fucked up right now I removed the Z component and now it should not be there anymore yes all right um, so this worked uh, let's go right up here um, and I will show you another little trick that might be useful to some of you that didn't know this feature uh, where's the fucking starting group? okay right here so as you can see everything moved fine um, just a little tip for starting grid vehicles if you want to move all of the starting grid vehicles for instance you just go into general starting grid car locations um, and I want all vehicles to spawn right here in this point might be good for um, I don't know non-contact races uh, so yeah the people don't spawn in either each other and glitch so that would be a use case uh, but the thing you do is you j just hold shift and press on this paste cursor location button and this will place all vehicles in the location of the cursor right here. Uh, yeah, so if I test this right now, you can see I spawn at that point. And if I exit this test now, you can see, okay, all of the cars are in each other. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I hope I didn't forget anything. Um, these, these, uh, this function works for yeah, nearly every location where you have mul multiple uh, like instances you want to change for instance props actors work uh, vehicles work you can change the location here though zones both of these will change like if you change the uh, y component or z component for start or endpoint both of these will change weapons work go to locations work this will, uh, if you do it for location, only the location will change and start and end point, both will change again. Uh, capture object uh, objects work. Uh, did I forget anything? I don't think so. Um, player, this one doesn't work right now. I haven't implemented that. Uh, I will add that in the future though. Um, yeah, and I think I will add play area and some other stuff if I find some. Uh, maybe maybe this I will add it, that too. But currently those are the ones that work. Uh, I hope you understood. What the fuck is this? Ah, okay. Um, if you have questions, please ask them below or uh, join my Discord and ask ask there. Uh, yo, that's it. Have fun.